Like I said earlier, we are evolving. We are changing our approach to this big, beautiful game and how we look ahead to new chapters. BlizzCon, it's time for a new adventure. One that has grown from the very oh seeds of what captured our hearts when we first set foot in Azeroth. For veteran players, the last 20 years have led us to this. And for those who have yet to join us, now is the time. And who better to talk about the first step in this journey? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> someone who carved the path in the first place. Everyone, please welcome my friend and the executive creative director of the Warcraft universe, Chris Metzen. Oh, okay. I'm crying. Thank you. Thank you. It is, uh... <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It has been a long, strange trip to get back to this spot. <laughs> I tell you that. Oh, my gosh. It has been interesting this past year, being back under the hood of World of Warcraft. It has reminded me of a few things. One, I love. Warcraft. Number two, you know what? I really miss this work. And number three, on the real, it feels amazing to be back and part of this Blizzard family. As Holly said a bit ago, next year is the 20th anniversary of World of That's Warcraft. That's huge. I can't even believe it. Whatever. How many of y'all have been playing from the beginning? I love you. Nearly the Crazy. beginning. <laughs> so given that... Doesn't matter. We started thinking, so what next, right? What expansion hook, what single storyline could possibly match such a historic occasion? We started thinking about, well, I did, the good old days, right? And some of those early mythic ideas that kind of established the background of Warcraft started thinking about even some of the newer ideas that have played out more recently, but still in a way, feel a little unresolved. And in the mix of all that stuff, in the mix of all those ideas, particular things like, what the hell has Magni actually been babbling about all these years? True. Was the thing that he came to warn us about in Battle for Azeroth, did it, did it actually play out? Or is there potentially something darker still looming on the horizon? I don't know. <laughs> Will there eventually be an apocalyptic confrontation between the forces yes. of the light? And the boy. Oh my god. Yes. Talk to me, BlizzCon. <laughs> I'll tell you what, for nothing. My pally main, I'm all in on that kind of thing. If it happens, it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> and
And really the big question for all the marbles, what have the Titans actually been doing mm -hmm. since the dawn of civilization? Mm -hmm. What is the real purpose of all of their cute little installations slammed into the side of the planet? <laughs> Do we know everything we need to know about their real intentions for our world? Just saying. He really sounded like thrall there. BlizzCon. All of these hooks. And a hundred more. Uh, 68. Carry the two. A bunch more. <laughs> All cooking in the pot. Started to reveal a storyline. Something epic. How epic? Real epic. <laughs> a storyline that in almost every way <laughs> feels like the culmination of the first 20 years of our storytelling. A storyline provided we we do our jobs, we do the thing <laughs> that will vector us into the next 20 years of adventure. This is so exciting. Blizzcon. Oh, she has the eye of Mizoth on. Are you with me, Blizzcon? We call this storyline the World Soul Saga. Oh, cool. Oh my god, are we going to get to see Azeroth eventually? The World Soul Saga is so epic, as we covered. <laughs> it cannot be contained within any single expansion. It is built to play out over multiple expansions over the next few years. Come on now. <laughs> this is so exciting. Having said that, we are working on multiple ways to deliver this adventure to you a little faster than you're used to. Okay. We're not going to get into it at this BlizzCon. Forgive me. But keep your ears peeled. I assure you. We are moving with purpose. And the last thing we really want is for y'all to have to have your grandkids controlling your mouse and your keyboard trying to wrap this thing up. So, <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> also, given the scale of this monster, we have decided did, to change it up today. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm so excited. Instead of just debuting your next expansion all on its lonesome, oh my we God. have decided to give you a glimpse at your next oh. expansion set. <laughs> no way. Oh my God, what? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Does this meet with your approval, <laughs> Oh, this is like the most exciting thing ever. My friends, I'm gonna warn you, there may be mild spoilers ahead. <sighs> Actually, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they ain't mild. Buckle up. Three expansions? Are what? you ready, BlizzCon? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> of the World Soul Saga, and your 10th expansion is called World of Warcraft, The War Within. Cool, okay, cool. A little different of a name, but we can get with it. Sounds In like some chapter, World Soul stuff. You will be descending into the heart of Azeroth itself. Oh shit. Exploring new subterranean kingdoms and engaging with ancient cultures like the Earthen, and the terrifying Nerubians of Ashkahet. <laughs> but as the forces of darkness close in around our precious world soul, 
You. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> will be called to do what you always do, which is dispense indiscriminate justice upon all those who got it coming. Talk to me, Blitzkong! The second part of the World Soul Saga is called World of Warcraft Midnight. Ooh, oh my god, cool. That's very cool. In this chapter, you will be returning, ready, to the old world. That's dope. To the fabled lands of Quel Thalas. No way! Oh my gosh! There, the forces of the Void have invaded Azeroth, intent on snuffing out the light of the Sunwell and plunging the world into darkness and fear. Wow. You will not only help reunify the scattered elven tribes of Azeroth, but you will make your stand with the forces of the light and banish the shadow forever. Of course, BlizzCon, it is Azeroth. Things may not go to plan. Things may just spiral wildly out of control, leading us to the third part of the World Soul Saga. World of Warcraft, the last Titan. Oh, shit, okay. In this chapter, you will again be returning to the old world, this time to the wintry lands of Northred. And there at Ulduar, you will bear witness to the return of the Titans to Azeroth. That's so cool. That's so cool. And there, you will uncover a vast conspiracy. One that stretches throughout the history of the world. One that will challenge everything you think you know about the Titans, their intentions, and the true nature of Azeroth itself. In time, my friend. In time. And it's called Silithus. There you go. Blizzcon, my hope, our dear hope, is that you can see when it comes to WoW's storytelling, we ain't screwing around. We are playing for all the marbles. We are working to establish a thundering heartbeat for this franchise. Now. <laughs> now, now, Blizzcon. Hearken to me. Always wanted to say that. Thank you. Whether you are a current player, and I'm going to bet that most of you are, <laughs> or maybe you jumped off the WoW train a few expansions ago, now is the time to come home. Now is the time to pull on your boots, pick up your broadsword or your favorite glowy staff, and get in this fight. Hell yeah. Friends, Azeroth needs her defenders now more than ever. Now, in a few moments, we are going to give you a deeper look at the war within. But before we do that, I want to leave you with a little something to chew on. I want to remind you all that sometimes very epic things can begin with small, heartfelt moments. What you're about to see is one 
of those moments. And with that, Liz Khan. Proud defenders of Azeroth! Let the World Soul Saga begin! Here we go! Here we go! He looks so different. You're here to tell me we don't get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have lately. Just next level detail. Something, someone is calling out from the heart of the world like a voice from a dream. <laughs> Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. You look so different. My son. Wow. I am not that person anymore. I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. Getting worse. Look, whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course, I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword oh, was aimed shit. at someone. They're dealing with the sword. <laughs> Different cinematic for sure. 
but it gave me chills, so it's good. Wow. guess we're not ignoring that sword anymore. <laughs> I do have to say, though, uh, every time I see that cinematic, and I've seen it many times, it gets me right in my heart. Uh, it feels like a new beginning, and it feels like coming home. And we are so excited about where we are going. And now that you've seen or heard the overview for the World So Saga, let's talk about the war within. As we all gather and explore beneath the surface, we'll find an ancient Nerubian civilization. They will be led by someone we were first introduced to in Legion, Zalatath, a Ooh. harbinger of the Void. The Void brings destruction and darkness that threatens all light in our world. The last time we saw Zalatath, she promised we would meet again, and it turns out she was right. And while Anduin, Thrall, and others share the same visions emanating from the heart of the world, some are seeing something quite different. My Ooh. visions are not the same as the others. No radiance. No song. Just the shadow taunting me from below. Cool. Isle of Dorn. Fall, that's cool. Is that the sword? Cool. Oh, oh my gosh, Ashes of Alar and Invincible. of our world rests upon the edge of a knife and our battle lies deep Is that within. oh that's dope very cool very cool seeing Illyria in the war within alongside beautiful unique underground zones we will have challenging dungeons and raids and some new features too that are built to last. If you like exploring on your own with a couple of friends or family, we have Dells. These are a variety of bite-sized experiences for one to five players that will offer end game rewards. You may also find in your Delve a familiar character who'd be willing to fight alongside you. And if you're like me, and you have an obsession with alts, we have warbands. <laughs> with this feature, you could treat all of your characters like family and share banks, reputations, transmogs. Nice. <laughs> We're also introducing a new layer of customization for your class specs with hero talent. You might want to take your character down the path of a Dark Ranger, let's say, or a Farseer. That's awesome. More. That's <laughs> awesome. Also, during your travels underground, you will meet the Earthen Dwarves, and you'll be able to unlock them as our new allied race. I mean, who doesn't love a dwarf? Uh, the facial hair options are spectacular. Um, <laughs> there's so much more to talk about, so please join the what, what Next panel that's coming up right after the opening ceremony right here. 
What I can tell you, though, is that the call to get into the fight to save our world will ring out when the War Within releases next year. And lastly, I sincerely want to say, we are so excited to begin this new journey with you. And from our hearts to yours, thank you for bringing our world to life. <laughs> and now, with his own note of thought, thanks, <laughs> Mike Ibarra. Thank you to all the teams who presented today. There really is so much to look forward over the next two days. And this is only the beginning. I can't wait to walk the halls of all of Anaheim with all of you. It is truly a joy to be here with the Blizzard team and our players. BlizzCon, be great to each other and enjoy the show. I can't get over how different Anduin looks. He's got like darker hair, more facial hair, and those graphics are just insane. He's all grown up now. 